Happy Thursday. I'm meteorologist Melissa Fry. And here's a breakdown of this storm moving into western Oregon. Today, just extremely cold. We set a new record low temperature this morning of 17 degrees, beating out the old record of 20. And our high temperatures barely above freezing this afternoon, only getting up to about 35. Staying sunny, staying dry. Later this afternoon, we'll start to see some clouds increasing from the northwest as an area of low pressure drops in from the north. This is a storm that is going to spread snow across west Western and Southern Oregon starting early tomorrow morning. Expecting that storm to move inland right there along the central coast, continuing to push into Southern Oregon and Northern California from there. So the places that will see the best chances and the most snow is going to be the locations that are closest to that low pressure center, which does look to be uh, as you headed from the Southern Willamette Valley through the Umpqua Basin and into Southern Oregon, the central coast, and then the central and Southern Oregon Cascades. In terms terms of snowfall totals, here's what we're expecting. Again, decent chances for snow from for everyone south of Salem, uh, but the further north you head, the less you're going to see. For the northern Cascades near Sanian Pass, we're talking two and a half inches. Southern Cascades south of Willamette Pass, we're talking three to six inches. The foothills around 2,000 feet, we'll see between two and four inches. Again, more the further south you head. And for the Willamette Valley, we're talking anywhere from a half of an inch up uh, north of Corvallis. Uh, to about three inches when you head outside of Roseburg. So again, good chances for snow. This would all start uh, by about four o'clock tomorrow morning along the coast, continuing through about one o'clock in the afternoon. And then after that, it's just cold. Take a look at these headlines again, below freezing for the next five nights. That snow likely Friday. And then after that, we're talking even colder conditions for this weekend. So the snow that does fall, it's not likely going to melt soon. It will likely stay parked into the weekend uh, where we will also continue to stay dry. So for you, that full forecast uh, for all all of us again just head over to the weather page on kezi.com otherwise it's going to be a chilly and possibly snowy couple of days